to the tool. looking after my children. During my breakdown, there's two breakdowns I struggled mm. because naturally when you're in depression and everything else, you shut everybody out. Um, and so I did that very successfully, very, very successfully, which is probably why I was in such a state for such a long time. Um, and uh, you know, my family have all their own lives and my friends, but I literally shut myself off from everybody. Uh, and it was, it was very, you look back now, even the boys will call it the dark years. Boys very much were into rugby and um, and scouts and all the usual things that boys were doing, and I tried very hard to keep it together so that they enjoyed the normal things that they all the things that they should be doing. Um, I couldn't work; I wasn't well enough to work. I found it a struggle to get out of bed in the morning. Uh, I found it a struggle to to maintain the house, um, and for three and a half years couldn't, couldn't uh, go to work, tried to work for myself for quite a lot of that time, um, but I tried to keep it together by walking, I uh, got into photography and uh, would walk around anywhere and everywhere with a camera while the boys were at school and um, then eventually we moved out of the house that I was sharing with my ex-partner and that resulted in, in a second breakdown, the worry of trying to keep things going. Um, not very happy with myself, worried about what I'd done to my children and spent another two years 
in, in not in a great place. I suppose what cracked me out of that was realising that if, if I didn't bring my children up properly and safely and securely, then somebody else would do that and that scared me. And so I got myself straightened out. I went to see my doctor, uh, got some help through CBT and eventually got myself back into work and realised that I wasn't looking great, wasn't feeling great about myself and that it was only me that could take responsibility for changing that. And so I started going to the gym at a local health centre and I think the old adage of, of the serotonin that comes from exercising, really I got the bug for that and realised I was happy after I'd been for a workout. Uh, the boys were a bit older, so I used to go for workouts in the evening when they were in bed. Um, and eventually started getting the confidence back in myself, feeling good about myself, but really wasn't getting very much out of my workouts. So I left that gym. Uh, we moved house a couple of times as well. Uh, and eventually we moved to Stretford, where we live now, and the boys were doing their GCSEs. So I dropped out of the gym and focused on supporting the boys through their exams, a lot of guilt about not supporting them in their early teens when I wasn't very well and so decided that I would focus everything I had on making sure that they did the best they could. They both did really really well and went on to college and as they became more and more independent uh, I decided that it was time to focus back a lot on myself and went to join a local pure gym as most people do these days. Went to lots and lots of classes but didn't see any great results. But one of the things that I really enjoyed about going to Pure Gym was the people that I was exercising with. Um, I realised that became a really important part of my exercise regime, I think. Um, but then I changed jobs and that meant that I couldn't go to the classes that I was going to and I lost touch with the people that really motivated me to go to the gym. So for two years I didn't do anything physical other than walking my dog and put on a lot of weight, uh, nearly three stone. And that, again, started feeling really rotten about myself. And then I saw a photograph uh, of myself at a work conference and was absolutely horrified by this. Looked, didn't recognize myself. Um, and was talking to some friends about how I was struggling to motivate myself to lose weight, but I wanted to lose weight. And one of my very, very good friends just turned around and basically said, stop talking about it and just do it. And so in April 2018, I put myself on a fairly rigid diet, but balanced diet. And in three months, three and a half months, I lost 22 pounds and started to feel good about myself, but realized that I still wasn't very fit. And so looked for something that wasn't pure gym and wasn't a total fitness but something that would drive me and motivate me and, and become a way of life really because I was obsessed at work, I was working 12, 14 hour days, wasn't doing very much else, I was working weekends sometimes, I needed something that would focus my energy in a really positive way and something that I would see a benefit from and I saw an advert for, for S&P faith, on Facebook um, liked the message that it was sending, thought it would be something that if, even if I didn't stay on the program it would be a really good kickstart for me to um, to get my life in order and, and to give me a focus on something else and nine months later I'm still there. Joining S&P was um, quite mentally a struggle but uh, Rash made it quite fun actually when I first went for my, for my first session a um, group of people Quite, most of whom are still there today, Manny and a number of others, uh, made me feel really welcome. Uh, I felt incredibly unfit in my first two months. Uh, didn't really find my pace until maybe the end of the summer, so I joined in the middle of July and um, felt confident enough to be in gym clothes having lost the weight, but knew I wasn't fit in any shape or form. Really struggled through the sessions but um, enjoyed going back and seeing the same people every week and realised that, that that was really important. That was something that was unique to S&P that I hadn't seen in any other gym 
apart from the couple of friends that I'd made when I was at, um, at Pure Gym. But these people were there day in, day out, and I was starting to feel and see results quite quickly from following the plans and from enjoying the workouts. I had a memory of my mum not being very fit, uh, losing, realising I was approaching the same age that my mum was when she died, and thought I could push myself to something better. So I um, asked if I could join the, the, uh, the strength, strength programme, the, the strong programme, and found that that really was a, a drive for me. I'm not particularly competitive against other people, but I think I am quite, quite competitive against myself and very quickly realised that um, I could push myself week in, week out through the programmes that were given to us, uh, repeating the same exercises every Monday or every Tuesday, watching myself getting stronger and uh, being more confident with the exercises that we were doing was definitely a motivation. The most amazing things as well over the last nine months has been learning that I can push myself even further than I thought I could ever go. So whether that's, um, particularly with, with the strong sessions that I do, um, I've realised that I can go heavier in my squats, I can deadlift heavier. Um, but I always think that people are stronger than me and I think that you know people are younger than me and therefore they can, they can go higher, heavier than I can. But uh, having the support and motivation of whether that's Rash behind me, whether it's, it's Big Al in my ear going, you know, pushing me to do an extra five kilos. Um, I'm amazed myself and, and the reward from that, whether it's people around you cheering you on, everybody seems to stop their workout and come around and really give you sort of mental support and, and motivation. I feel about myself now that um, I've done this for myself and um, I don't have to prove anything anymore. Uh, I think mentally I'm in a much better state. Things aren't great at work. Things could be better in my personal life. Um, but I believe that I'm the person that can change that. I took the decision to join S&P last year to really challenge myself um, to see how far I could go. And every day that I go to the gym, I, can, I know I can push myself further. But it actually it's given me the confidence that when I'm ready to change things in my own life, I will make that decision for myself and I'll do it when I'm ready. Uh, and I'll do it because it's the time is right. Um, so I need to change my job. But at the moment, it's not the right time. And I, but I will know and I'll have the strength to do that when I'm, when I'm ready.